Hey squad, Sykes here and welcome back to another Sea of Thieves tutorial video here on Installation X. In this video I'll be breaking down all the commendations and journals for the Tall Tale 1 of the Pirates of the Caribbean Pirates Life update aptly named A Pirate's Life. Now obviously this video will contain full spoilers for the tale itself so you have been warned before you progress any further. First up you need to head to the Castaway Camp which is found on the outpost and select Tall Tale 1 on the far left. If this is the first time you are completing the new tales, it will be the only one unlocked for you to vote on. After you've sat through an engaging cutscene from the mysterious castaway, you will see a green portal open across the seas nearby that will lead you through to the Tunnels of the Damned, as you make your way to the Sea of the Damned. Now, when you are in the Tunnel of the Damned, you will no longer be in control of your ship, so sit back and enjoy the short ride. Keep your eyes out as there is still plenty of going on around you. After you've exited the Tunnel of the Damned, you will see your ship sailing towards a mysterious island. Head towards the island and dock your boat by the beach. You don't have to worry about your ship, as you will not be needing it again for this tale. Hop ashore and look for a cavern entrance which is guarded by a skeleton statue holding a bell. Enter the cavern and begin to navigate the Dead Man's Grotto. You will come to an area with a camp full of dead skeletons surrounding a campfire. Head up to the campfire with your lantern and you will be prompted to take the Flame of Souls. Now this flame is important as you will need to use it throughout the whole tale. To open the door to the next area, you will need to light the two lanterns either side of the door. Following the path round to the next area will bring you face to face with a skeleton captain holding a lantern for you to light. You are then looking for a second lantern in the clutches of another skeleton that is sitting on the floor by the wall. You can find the third and final lantern for this area by following the stream through the cave to an abandoned rowboat. Lighting all three lanterns will open the door to the next area. Now as you head on you will see a shipwreck and to be honest you can move straight past this unless you are looking to follow the current story and background and a little bit of lore that's going on with some of the ghost scenes. Moving into the third area you won't need your lantern on this occasion. This time you are looking for a pulley handle to place in the pulley to open the door. Head through the waterfall and you will find the handle propping up a skeleton by a rowboat. Take the handle and place it in the pulley to open the door into the next area. Next we have a bit of a parkour and jumping section to navigate. Nothing major, you just need to follow the path around the room. The next room gets a little more complicated as it involves pulleys and drawbridges. Follow the path round up towards the drawbridge and you will see a sloop capstan. Rotate the capstan and the drawbridge will begin to lower. Next you will see a pulley straight in front of you to lower the second platform to jump across the river. Follow the docks round to the end and you will find a hanging lantern. Light it with your flame of souls and this will set off a chain reaction of flames lighting up the entire room. Follow these flames back to the way you came and you will find a new lantern sitting atop some crates for you to light. Light it and a brief cinematic scene will begin with a crew rowing treasure up the river in a rowboat. The rowboat will eventually dock, the scene will end and the drawbridge will open allowing you to progress. The path will take you into the treasure room where you will see the ending of the story being played out by the ghostly scenes. Follow the path round and a couple of jumps will take you onwards. In the next area climb the ladder and you will see a thin rope. Cut or shoot it and the platform will fall for you to cross. Next a pulley will move a mast towards you. Quickly hop on as the mast will begin to move back from where it came once you let go of the pulley. Next, you will see another thin rope to cut or shoot, which will drop another platform for you to jump across. Hop on and into the water and enjoy the ride. This will then bring you out to Sailor's Grave, which is the main area of the tale. Off to your right is a stone ledge which will lead you down towards the town. Take out your lantern and light the brazier up the stairs to the left. The gate will open for you to enter and you will need to follow the path down into the centre of the town. Follow the voice of the cursed captain which you will hear from a hanging cage above you. You will be prompted to try and get the captain out of the cage. Head over to the shipwreck to the left and climb up to the top of the ship. Walk across the mast towards the other half of the shipwreck, jump down and swim through the sunken wreck. This will bring you to a pulley elevator that will lift you up to the platform. Use the pulley in front of you to move the cargo up for you to jump across and then a third pulley will be up to your right for you to move two platforms into place. Once you've jumped across the platforms, head left across the bow of the ship to meet the cage holding the cursed captain. Cut the rope holding the cage and then drop down. You will see the head of the cursed captain within the cage and he will give you some monologue. 
The Curse Captain's head is important for all the content of the tale moving forward, so make sure you look after it. Head over to the tavern nearby and you will see the key in the cage hanging on the chandelier. Head up behind the bar and use the pulley to lower the chandelier and claim the key. Head back out to the Cursed Captain and open the cage to pick up his skull. Now, this bit is important. If you progress further by following the Cursed Captain's instructions, you risk missing out on commendations and journals. Therefore, I suggest you do the hidden content first before moving on with the story. And we're going to go through that now. Leave the Cursed Captain head somewhere safe and head back into the tavern. Go further upstairs and head into the captain's quarters of the shipwreck. Use your lantern to light the candle on the table and a scene of ghosts will appear with a red X marks the spot showing on the map. This points to an area by the docks between the tavern and the lighthouse. Now before you jump back down into the tavern, do a 180 and hop across to the other side of the deck and you will see the first of the cursed captain's journals. Now, head back outside and you will follow a trail of gold coins to the docks and find what looks like to be a grave. Get your shovel and dig up the grave and you will find the skeleton of poor Dougie. Dougie will prompt you to find his lost treasure chest. Head back out to the centre and go across and you are looking for a wooden path that is along the ground. This will take you to a door in the hull of one of the shipwrecks. Open the door and head on inside. You will see the second journal on the bedside cabinet by the skeleton in the bed. What you want to do here is head up to the stairs to the balcony. There will be a series of lanterns to light up. Head back inside and you will see a pulley to open the curtains. Opening the curtains will light up the room. Head towards the skeleton and look through the magnifying glass. The red X marks the spot will show you the area to dig for Dougie's treasure. You're going to want to dig just outside the tavern entrance to find the chest. Once you have the chest, head back to Dougie's skeleton and hand it to him. Dougie will open the chest to reveal a medallion. Now this next step requires a couple of things to set it up first. Firstly, you need to head round to the right and round to the bottom of the shipwreck you climbed up to get to the cage. You will find yourself in a gambling den. Here you will see a chessboard. Leave the medallion here for now. You will also see the third of the Cursed Captain journals off to the side. You will then see two skeletons by the chessboard. Pull out your lantern and light the candle on the table and a scene will play out and you will be prompted to refill the tankard of one of the skeletons with Captain Bone's special recipe. Now, to get the recipe you will need to head back to the shipwreck, through the sunken wreck and then back to the platforms from earlier. This time, when you get to the two platforms you will need to head through a little cave off to the right. There you will see a bottle for you to pick up. You can then open the door and you want to head back to the gambling den. Now that you have the recipe and the medallion, you can progress. Refilling the tankard will cause the skeleton skull to explode. You will need to grab the cursed captain's skull for this bit. Place the skull on the skeleton, and then for the game to begin, you will need to use Dougie's medallion to buy in. Winning the game will allow you to pick up the key. Now, leave the captain for now and take the key all the way back to the platforms. Head up the lift and you will see a door to unlock. Now, you will find a brazier that is unlit and a pulley to manoeuvre the sails. You want to turn the sails all the way to the right, and this will become clear in a minute. Head back to the Cursed Captain's skull and take him towards the lighthouse. Head all the way up to the top and you will see the fourth of the Cursed Captain's journals to your right and a new body to place the Cursed Captain upon to your left. You will be prompted to head up the ladder and light the lighthouse brazier. There will be two wheels, one to rotate and the other to pitch the light beam. Moving from right to left, light all the braziers out at sea on the rocks. There will be three for you to light which will summon the Fairy of the Damned that you will need to stow away upon. However, before you go, move the lighthouse beam all the way to the left and lower it to light the secret brazier from earlier. This is why you need to change the position of the sails all the way to the right. You will see a shipwreck light up in the distance. We will head there in just a minute. Take the Cursed Captain's head now, with a key in mouth, down the lighthouse. You will now want to head to the Cursed Captain's ship with the red sails, the golden hair. Place the skull on the body outside and the Cursed Captain will open the door for you. Head inside and up to the Captain's quarters, placing the Cursed Captain's skull back onto his body. Off to the right will be the fifth and final Cursed Captain journal. Now, it is really important that you do all the previous steps before placing the Cursed Captain's skull on his body, as you will not be able to remove it again. Right, 
Before you take the key from the cursed captain, you want to do a 180 and head all the way back towards the entrance of the town. You will now see a new bridge has been lit and unlocked for you to cross. There will be a really cool audio easter egg which I'm not going to spoil here. This shipwreck contains all of the headless monkey journals for you to find. There is one by the wheel where you can also find a key, one by the back mast, one by the mid mast and then two can be found in the captain's quarters which is unlocked using the key. Right, back to the golden hair and the key to unlock the route to the rowboat. Take the rowboat round the back of the lighthouse and dock it on the back of the Ferry of the Damned. Head up the ladder and onto the deck. Take your Flame of Souls and merge it with the Well of Fates. This will cause an explosion for you to head below deck. Use your lantern to light the candle to unlock the first door. Light the lanterns on the wall and close each sarcophagus and head on through the second door. You will then find Jack Sparrow locked up alongside with the prison dog that has the keys. Unlock the cell to free Jack and then head back up on deck. You will see an ammo crate on board with cannon and food barrels below deck as well. The Flying Dutchman will make a dramatic appearance and you will need to use the cannons on the ferry to fight it off. Whilst this is going on, you will also have to face waves of ocean crawlers that will be boarding the ferry. After several waves of cannon fire and ocean crawlers, Jack will have his treasure pinched by an ocean crawler that will then jump overboard. The tale will end and you will head back through the ferry's portal, back to your ship and back to the Sea of Thieves. Westworld, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of future uploads. Leave your thoughts on a Pirate's Life Telltale in the comments. Follow myself on social media with links in the description. And as always, I'm Sykes, and for more on CFEs and all things Xbox, stay tuned to Installation X. Bye guys.